All right. Hi, this is Lisa Lloyd, um, director from Massachusetts, and tonight our Tools from the Trade training is on um, maximizing your live shows by using um, Facebook to get people excited before and follow up afterwards. Um, so thank you guys for coming tonight. Um, Carol from Florida. Yay! Um, so what I'm actually going to do is share my screen so you guys can kind of see some of the posts that I do and then talk about um, why I do it and then some of the results that I've had. Sound good? Awesome. Okay. So um, the first thing I do is I actually will, um, so the reason why I thought of this is because um, I find a lot of my hosts want to invite on Facebook, even though I'm having them invite different ways, they're really wanting to invite on Facebook. So even though I encourage them to invite um, via email and text, they're doing that as well. But I'm like, how can I maximize um, Facebook so that it's benefiting um, the host as well as helping them increase their sales and bookings um, and maybe even identifying potential people that um, might be interested in learning more about the business. So I create an event for the host. So if all, at all possible, I create it about a week ahead. So that way we have posting for about um, five or six days before the party. Um, and then I'll do like three posts after the party, more follow-up based. Um, so I'm gonna, I did my outline in Evernote and then I'll share that with you guys. So hold on a second and I'm gonna share my screen. Um, so we're gonna do that and then I'm gonna do desktop. Oh, here we go. Share screen. Awesome. Okay. Ah, oh, perfect. Sometimes this actually works. So, um, for so I just broke this down into the different days. So for day one, the first thing you obviously want to post is um, I actually, and I I'm just thinking of this now. Um, I you should probably put in a welcome post. You know, welcome to the party. Welcome to um, Sarah's Facebook. Sarah's live party. I'm going to be posting um, some fun things for the next few days as we lead up to the party. So I'll add that to the outline um, before I send it to you. So the first thing I post is really informational. So you want to let them know what the guest special is right off the bat to kind of get them excited. And the guest specials have been fantastic lately. So I love that this month we have, they can pick one of two pieces of stoneware. Um, so share that and then I always try to share a picture. And then the second thing I post is um, a link to the party and the reason why, and then when I do that, um, I also want to let them know that even if they can't come and I encourage my, get, my hostess to be inviting people that live out of state, that she knows won't be able to come to the live party, but this, this is how she can expand her guest list and expand the number of orders so that she can get the desired sales that she wants so she can get everything off her wish list. Um, so I'll post that and then I'll post the link encouraging her to um, add to other people. And then they can get excited too because it's like a mini Facebook party. Um, it's not as many posts, but they're gonna see some products and some recipes and there's gonna be some excitement there. So even though they're long distance, they're gonna be able to participate. So I loved that portion of it because it, they felt connected to the party. Um, as you know, it's really important to bring a friend to a party. So, a couple ways we can promote this through Facebook is um, I do offer a free gift if they bring a friend to the party. I just let them pick, you know, a Seasons Best or a Twix -a Clip or a Citrus Peeler or something like that. Yeah. And then, um, but I also 
encourage people to share the link. So, and I get permission from the host. So if it's fine with the host, she can share the link to her party. So that way, oh, my friend Sally, my sister-in-law Sally, she lives, you know, in California. She loves Pamper Chef, so she can't come, but I know she'd love to order. So I'm going to share this link with her to help my friend Susie. So um, a lot of people don't necessarily think of that unless you tell them or um, encourage them to do that. So again, this is a way for her to expand the number of people that she's connecting with, as well as um, expanding those outside orders outside of the party. Um, and then for fun, because we want this to also be fun and not just, um, I'll do a recipe. Um, so I try to do a couple recipes ahead of time because um, people always love a new recipe. Or I do. <laughs> so I, I do. So I always post a recipe. Um, so yeah, bring a friend um, and then encouraging them to share the link. Um, so I just shared something current. I just shared a recipe because it's close to Thanksgiving, something that was close to Thanksgiving. Um, and then on the third day, I want to get people kind of talking about their favorite products and product. So um, I'll sort of do a two, and I just did this recently, and it like went like crazy. They were talking about product for days. Is um, and people were posting pictures of products. It was awesome. And then they're like, oh, can you bring that to the party? And so it generates interest. So asking people to either share their favorite product or um, is there a product in the catalog that you want to see? If I have it, I can bring it. Um, so if you're new, you may not have everything, but um, there might be a video of that particular product that someone's interested. So if someone does say that and you don't have the product, post the video or you can play the video at the party. Um, the other thing is um, if your director lives near you and she happens to have the, she or he happens to have the product, you could borrow it. Um, so that's another way to do that. I loan product out all the time. Um, so, and then I just love it when people share because again, even just like at a live party, when um, you can be sharing all you want, but people are gonna trust their friends because they know their friends. Oh, well, if Susie uses that stoneware and she says it's fantastic, then I'm definitely gonna get a stone because um, they have nothing to gain by promoting the stoneware, you know, even though we know how fabulous it is. Um, so they're always gonna trust what their friends say. Um, so that is, um, so I'll, so I find that that just generates a lot of excitement and interest um, for that. Um, then if there's sort of something you're excited about, like right now, like whether it's the spiralizer or the kids cooking set or stoneware or the entertaining platters, you know, share something you're excited about. Um, in this particular outline, I chose um, the kids, the kids cookware, and I also put in a little zinger that um, you know if they could get both sets for forty dollars if they got friends together or passed a catalog in December because it's forty per they get sixty percent off the sets a hundred dollars. That's cheaper than one of the sets just in the catalog. That's an awesome Christmas gift for you know a future chef. Um, so just kind of putting in like little teasers to kind of get people excited and um, thinking. Um, I did not create this one, but one of my um, Pampered Chef friends, she, she always posts, um, do you have a kitchen nightmare? You know, like um, my pots and pans always stick or I overboil my rice all the time or my microwave, how do I, you know, whatever their nightmare is and then or I always burn my wooden spoons if they share that then you know you can't promise a solution but you might have a solution for them so again you're problem solving you're getting them excited um, they're like oh wow she knows her stuff or you know you then you can google your friend you know message your friends oh someone said this what would you say and then you can kind of um, you know, reach out to your director or your other teammates because I'm sure they have a, um, you know, an answer to that. 
um, I would definitely post a power tool, you know, my favorite, you know, whether it's, um, you know, the rock crack, that's everybody's favorite power tool or the deep, the, um, the, um, double burner grill pan. Um, especially this time of year, because, you know, again, in December, they can get, um, any item they want in the catalog for 60% off. So, you know, the, one of the rock cracks, is like under $50. So that's a really good deal. Um, so I would post about that and again, a recipe. And um, what did I want to say? Okay. Um, and then as it gets closer, you're um, counting down and then I would kind of get reminding them a little bit about um, so I posted a video of the whipped cream maker because I love the whipped cream maker I usually bring it to my shows um, but I like that it has this little recipes here and then um, I remind them two things one that if they bring a friend that they'll get a free gift and two um, if, or is that a different, yes, and then I also remind them um, to do, that I'll do an on-time drawing. So I would do that as a, um, yeah, I'll do that as a different post. So bring your friend. So if they bring a friend, they get a free gift from me. And then um, if you, if your shows are always not starting on time and you want to try to rein that in, um, when, thing you can do is offer a um, an on-time drawing or you can add if you do tickets or points you can give extra tickets or points for that but I just like to do a drawing so that anybody that gets there early if one seven o'clock hits everybody that's there they get a ticket they can get a prize um, <laughs> um, your feet in my background of my house so um, so that's, again, another way to um, kind of get people excited. Oh, if I get there on time, I could win a gift. You know, they, they don't care that it's a dollar cookbook. They just want something. Um, absolutely. And then um, if you have a Facebook group, this is another time that you can ask, tell them, you know, um, request that or share that you have a Facebook group. Um, you know, if you've enjoyed these posts that I made, I have a group that, um, where I share recipes, tips, um, I do contests, whatever you do on your Facebook group, and then put the link in. Um, you can do another raffle for that. You can not do that. Um, but again, the more people we, there was a training earlier, um, in the, series where Karen talked about Facebook groups and promoting those. Um, so that sort of is a, in conjunction with that. And then um, the day of the party, again, I just send a quick reminder. I'm really excited. Um, and then after the party, I will um, send a thank you and then I'll post the recipe that we made. And then I'll also share the deadline and the link again for closing the, um, for closing the party. Um, so that way I, they, um, they know when it's closing. I like to keep the deadline very tight. Like I usually, you know, one to two days after the party at most, um, cause people procrastinate by nature. The longer you give them, the longer they take. So, um, if you give them two days, then they only have two days and then they, you know, close the link, give them that link. And then, um, and then I'll do a little plug for hosting. So um, I'll share um, some information. I'll share what the special is because I shared it at the show, but maybe some of these people weren't at the show. So I'll share that they're 60% off whatever you want in the catalog um, in the month of December, whether they do a live show, catalog show, or um, a Facebook party. So that's a really awesome, um, awesome special. And then I'll share that, you know, Susie, for every show scheduled before we close, Susie can save 50% off an item of her choice at, her, at your party. You know, and she certainly mm -hmm. saved a few of her big ticket items because she can't get everything all at once. 
And then, um, and then I let them know when it ships and things. And then I also remind them, it's really important to remind them um, that to open their products right away. I try to remind them at the party, but I forget sometimes that I'm caught up in the moment. So this is a good way to remind them here is to open their products right away and try them out. So that way if they don't like them, they get that free returns in 30 days, which is a lot of people, it, it's awesome um, to be able to do that, especially if you, you know, are not as diligent about your follow-up calls um, and things like that. So that's a, another great way to um, remind them of that. And that's kind of the sense of what you post. You can certainly, um, you know, definitely, I'm gonna unshare this. Um, definitely make it your own, but it's just a way I find to connect with the guests and the people that aren't at the party. So they get a chance to get to know you and then it gets them excited um, before you even walk in the door, um, which is, they're already excited because they're going to Pamper Chef anyway, but um, it just gets them more excited about the party and things like that. So Carol, do you have any questions for me? Okay. No, I really like it though. Oh, I okay. Really like it. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I really do like it. I know I did a, I set it up on Facebook when I did my brother-in-law's house, yep. show at his house, you know, for him to invite people and stuff that way as well. But I didn't find the participation. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and sometimes you don't get it, and that's okay. Um, but then, if you're not getting that participation, ping the host and say, you know, do you have a couple people that you can reach out to that um, will participate in some of the stuff that I'm doing? I want to generate excitement before the party. So that's the tip that I would give you if you're not getting that excitement is um, have the host hand pick and she'll she or he will know exactly who to pick because they'll know oh this one loves pamper chef or this one you know loves to, to to comment you know they'll they'll know exactly who to pick um and that's just like a virtual party as well sometimes like crickets yeah and then you have to kind of talk to the host and be like um encourage her to be and then if the host is posting or sharing that will also encourage other people to be sharing as well. So getting her involved and private messaging people. Um, but it's been really helpful. I mean, I identified a recruit lead on a pre-show. She wasn't even going to the party and she was posting like crazy. So I private messaged her and we just set up some time to talk and Sometimes people will book, like they'll say, oh, I really want this, but I'm not going to be at the party. And then, so sometimes you look for those red flags, like if people say, oh, I would love this, or, or if they're doing a lot of posting and um, excited, you know, those are red flags for either recruit leads or booking leads. And you wouldn't get, um, you wouldn't see that if they just placed an order online. You might call them and say, hey, I just want to do a checkout with you. Um, and you do the whole service checkout, but because you didn't have that initial interaction, there was no way to personalize it. You know, I personalized, oh, hey, Julie, you were fantastic. You know, have you ever considered doing something like this? And then um, it got a conversation going. But that wouldn't have happened if she wasn't posting. Right. So you kind of can see things that you wouldn't normally see. Um, yeah. Well, Carol, thank you for um, coming on. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> I think it, when, yeah, we'll have to recycle. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to stop recording because now I'm like, it's